my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be sharing with you some DIYs that I'm making for my tear tray for Halloween. I recently purchased a tear tray from Hobby Lobby, so I'm definitely new to the whole tear tray community, if there is such a thing. But um, I just really love uh, that decor piece, and I think it's really fun to... Would be will will be really fun to decorate for the different holidays and that sort of thing. So, I have quite a few DIYs, fairly simple, mostly Dollar Tree um, items that I'm going to be using to put these DIYs together. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and and you have to excuse the um, very randomness of this video and how I recorded things because I literally just turned the camera on and then just went for it and just started doing you know one thing I would do and then I would wait for it to dry and grab another thing so it's very random and there's a lot of different things going on but um that's just how it ended up and I I wanted to share it so that's what I'm doing so um the first thing that I did was I printed off a couple of uh, images that I found on Google um, that had kind of like a kind of like witchy theme. Um, my kind of my whole theme in my living room is kind of like apothecary witch that lives there. Like it's like an apothecary witch house, <laughs> basically. Um, so I have this one um, sign. It's a chalkboard sign on the back, but I decided to use the back of the the sign because I liked that the chalkboard was on the, the other side and it kind of gave it a finished look. So then what I decided to do was just use what should have been the back as the front. I did go ahead and stain it a little bit with just some watered down brown paint. Um, you can see that the bottom part is a little bit darker than the sign itself. Um, didn't really do that intentionally. Um, just think I mixed a little bit too much darker paint. Um, but I think it looks fine. And you can't really even see the bottom part when you're in, when it's in the tear tray. So it's fine. Okay, so what I'm doing here is the sign, the image that I cut out didn't quite fit the sign exactly. Um, and I didn't like that there was kind of brown edges around it. So I'm just going ahead and painting around the edge of the sign so that when I put the black little image there, it won't be as noticeable. So of course now I need to wait for the paint to dry a little bit. So I'm setting that one aside and starting on another one. <laughs> so for this pro for this one, since it had the black cat, I really wanted to use this little black cat um, uh, wood, wood piece from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing is I'm just watering down my chalk paint a little bit just so it's not a stark black. Um, I ended up not actually liking that and I just went in and eventually just covered the whole thing with black paint. So it's extremely black by the time this is done. And just so you don't know, at the end of the video, I am going to show you exactly what um, it looks like and all put together with all the different things that we're making today. So that will be coming at the end of the video. Um, and I know there is a way now that you can actually like put chapters in your videos. So I might do that if I can figure it out. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just painting it. Um, I painted the front and then I painted the back and then I leaned it up against something and now I'm moving on to the next thing. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and use a couple of these witch hats, but I didn't really like the thickness of them. I wanted them to be a little bit more substantial. Um, so what I decided to do was glue a couple of pieces together. Now, when you're doing this, you do have to kind of make sure that the pieces, they're not exactly cut exactly perfect all the time. So just make sure that the pieces are kind of uh, you know, put them together before you actually glue them just to make sure that they all line up properly. Um, and then, so what I did, I just used some regular glue, my regular Fabri-Tac glue that I use for everything. And some of these little dollar clip trip, chip clips or craft clips, I guess. And I went ahead and clipped them together to, um, form like a thicker, uh, piece of wood. 
And then what I did was I went to the tool section in Dollar Tree and I decided that I was going to pull some of the, um, I think it's called like wall putty or something like that. And I put some of that wall putty kind of on this one just to kind of, I didn't want it to be like a solid piece of wood. I want it to have some texture and some dimension to it and kind of make it look a little bit older. So what I did was I just kind of put some splotches everywhere of that white, um, whatever that putty stuff is called. And then I went in with my black paint again, a little bit watered down and it did turn out pretty good. I liked the way that that turned out. So I was happy with it. It was, a, it's a little bit gray and you'll see that at the end of the video. All right, so now I was making another sign, and this sign was more of a kind of like a easel that you would find in like front of a um like a show or you know like an old fashioned kind of easel they would put out front to announce that there's like a show going on or yeah, like a circus in in town kind of thing. So I kind of went with that as the inspiration for the sign and I decided that I did want to have all of the pieces that were the wood pieces kind of more of like a black color than the wood color so I'm just watered down my paint again and what I'm doing is just using it kind of as a stain so you see I kind of put the put the paint on there and then I wipe it off with the cloth and I really like how that one turned out um, it was a little bit difficult because there's it was a little bit more surfaces than you kind of think of when you're doing this. So I just kind of went, you know, with my little paint brush and just painted all the surfaces. And um, it's kind of therapeutic to just paint, especially when you really don't care what it looks like. <laughs> um, so I'm just again painting. You can see all the little cracks and crevices. Um, and then I am just wiping it off once I paint, paint it. So I would love to hear in the comments if you guys are, do you guys have tear trays? Do you decorate them for all sorts of different holidays? Or you just have like them decorated like for your regular decorations? My design aesthetic in my living room is not really necessarily like farmhouse and I think that's typically what's associated with the tear tray look is kind of that farmhouse look but I have a little bit of a more modern I guess kind of eclectic modern feel to my my living room and um but I still think it looks really good I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and I hope that you guys like it too so tell me all down below though in the comments if you guys um you know, have tear trays if that's something that you guys do. All right, so the next thing that I'm working on, um, again, had to paint and put that aside. Um, so we'll come back to all of those signs and get those finished up here in a second. Um, I was inspired with these little bottles and these little uh, treasure chest things that I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's something that I don't typically find there. Like I've seen them before and I haven't picked them up, but then this time when I found them, I was like, oh, I'm going to do that and have like a little treasure chest of all these tiny little bottles as I'm sitting in the treasure chest. So that's what I ended up doing. So I have this one that I'm working on right here. I have the other one sitting there. You can see kind of off to the side there on the bottom of the screen. Um, so I do have two of them that I'm going to put on my chair tray. One is actually going to be opened with all the little bottles and the other one I just decided to go ahead and close um, that one. And um, oh, I just realized that I was going to add some keys to my chair tray and I completely forgot. So I might go back and do that actually. Um, but anyway, so I I didn't I, I didn't like the fact that the bottles look so clean and pristine so um, what I've done here is I'm just literally using almost just like dirty water <laughs> to paint the uh, outside of the bottles and um, it's a little bit hard because it does drip down so you do have to kind of soak it on there really good and then um, kind of just let it dry and it kind of dries some, some of them I did a little darker, some I did a little lighter. Um, 
but it definitely worked. It definitely uh, kept the paint on there. I was a little bit worried that the paint would just come right off. Um, obviously, I haven't gone in and like washed it off with a washcloth, but for for the um, amount of times I was touching them, they seemed to last pretty long. And now I've severely made a big mess in my little area right there. And just so you know, I am using a chopping kitchen, like a chopping mat from Dollar Tree. So I'm not actually painting on my table. It is one of those little mats from the Dollar Tree. Um, all right, so I, ha I recorded this video several weeks ago um, when I was inspired to do all this stuff. And then once I got inspired and recorded the video, I didn't actually do the, the voiceover. So I don't exactly remember everything I did in this video, but we're just going to play it and then we'll see what happens. So I apparently I'm working, going back to this sign here and putting way too much decoupage on the, the sign. Um, but it's all right. It worked out. The, de the sign that, or the decoupage that I'm using is actually a gl the gloss one. And I wish that I had the matte one. Um, I have since then picked the matte one up. Um, but it is, um, it does make it a little bit glossier than I was hoping it to be. But I think it's fine. It's fine. So that is that one done. And then I think I grab, oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to go ahead and take the um, handy dandy little cat there. And I did, um, I forgot to tell you the step that um, I did take some of the putty that I was showing you earlier and I did put that in the hole so that I wouldn't have a hole in the in the little kitty there. I didn't want to have like a hanging hole in there. Oh yeah, I forgot I did this. I like took some silver paint and like went over it with silver. I didn't like how that looked. So again, I ultimately paint the whole entire thing black again, I think, because it's fairly black now <laughs> on my tear tray. So I did that and I was like, eh, I don't know if I like that, but let's set it aside and see how it works. And what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on putting it in front of that sign. Um, just like it's sitting, standing on the little ledge there. So I'm just taking some foam tape and I'm going to put it in the, on the little creature there. I'm kind of trying to figure out how far away I want it from the, uh, from the frame. And I believe I doubled up on the foam tape there. And that foam tape is from the Dollar Tree. So, so far, all of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. It's great. It's such a great store. Anybody who doesn't shop at the Dollar Tree, just, they just, they just don't get it. They don't get it. And that's all right. It's more for us. All right. So when I, after I did that, I did not like the fact that the tape was white. So of course I, me being the anal person that I am, I had to actually go in and paint the tape. And now here you go. I'm painting over the black. <laughs> I thought I did that because I was like, it's super black now. So I must have repainted it. So I just decided I don't like that. I'm repainting it. So that is what I did. So that one is done. And again, I'll show you exactly where that goes in my little tear tray at the end of this. And then I kind of think, let's see what I'm going to do now. Grab some more water. I am, I have made a mess. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I wanted to use a little bit of the dark. So I'm going to fill up some of these bottles now. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to use this paint that's sitting in this uh, little tra tray here and see if I can't get some dirty water in there. And it seemed to work. Now, who knows if it's going to evaporate. It probably will, and it'll probably be an empty bottle either by the time the end of the year, or the you know, end of the, ho the Halloween season, or, you know, next Halloween when I pull it out of the box, it'll probably be evaporated. But that's all right. We'll figure it out then. All right, and I did think I did fill up some more things. I'm not sure if I come back to that or if I do... 
even do that in the video, but I did fill up all of those little jars. All right, so my next little sign is going to be this sign with this little haunted house or the moon with bats on it. Again, just an image I found on Google. And that little wood piece did also come from the Dollar Tree. So I just painted it and then I went ahead and put some of this decoupage down. And I definitely didn't use enough here. So I used too much in the first one and definitely not enough in the other, <laughs> this, this one. <laughs> but um, I actually had to redo some of that after because it kept peeling off. But it was fine now. Okay, so then I went ahead and just went all the way around that sign. Trying to get all of those little edges glued down. And then I think I probably put that. Oh, nope. Here we go. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree sticker here. This little wood veneer sticker that came in a set. I think this is amazing. I love it. I love the sticker. It's so cool. Or the little wood veneer. And I'm going to put that on top of there. But apparently I'm going to let it dry first. So I'm moving on to the other little show sign, the little easel thing that I showed you earlier that I was painting intricately, little wood paints, the painting of the wood. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to now put that on this easel. It's just, again, another image I found on Google, and I, I don't even know. I think most of them didn't have, like, copyrights or anything, but, you know, it's not like I'm selling this stuff, so it doesn't really matter. It's only for my personal use. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a lot of glue on that sign and then just put that on there. And then that sign is done. I'm not doing anything extra to that one. I just wanted to keep it simple. This one's going to be kind of in the back of the tear tray, so I didn't really need it to be a whole lot of stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and come back to this one. And I decided that I wanted to add just a few more of those pop dots um, from the Dollar Tree just to ensure that everything got adhered on. And then I doubled them up so that it even popped out even more. I wanted it to kind of, the moon to be in the foreground. So I wanted it to kind of give it some dimension. And that's my little sign. Simple, simple Simon little sign that I love. I love that sign. I think it's so cute, the way that the moon is in the background like that. And of course I, had to paint the white little uh, foam tape there. Okay, and then let's see, what else did I do? What's, what am I doing next? Putting more water down, okay. <laughs> Getting, oh, I think I'm gonna fill the jars now with that gray paint. Again, I don't necessarily recommend this. I have no idea if it will last. I am gluing the top on. Oh, I just poured paint right inside there. I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna pour some paint in there. I just wanted it to not be clear. So I did glue the tops on. Um, so maybe that'll help it from evaporating. Who knows? And then I apparently did that with the green too. I think I did. I think I actually added some glue to the green as well. And um, it has a couple of weeks later now that I, I have it. And this is, this again, I recorded this a couple of weeks later. It actually has kind of um, made this really cool like gooeyness inside there. It's actually pretty cool. I, what I basically did is I put some of that glue down. And then I just put some tape on top of it, or I mean some paint on top of it, and kind of stirred it up. But now it's like kind of like gooey and slimy and it kind of like crusty at the top. It looks really cool. <laughs> so again, who knows if it'll be that way next year when I open this box up, but it looks cool for now. All right, I guess I apparently didn't want to show you me painting that box. So I just painted the box black and then I took taking some cobwebs and I'm just stringing some cobwebs around. This is not really a DIY. This is just me showing you what I'm doing with the box. So, and then I did have one of those spiders from the Dollar Tree. So I am going to go ahead and 
put that right on top of that. I think I weeded some of that webbing through them. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. That's the other little piece of decor there. Simple, simple. Okay, I, I thought it, did I glue it? I don't think that it's glued on. Apparently I attempted to glue it, but I don't think it's glued on. It's just, it's just sitting there. Don't, please don't look at my nails. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, let's see. If you are still with me, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching all of this with me um, as I kind of don't even know really what I'm doing. But I'm having fun, and that's all that really matters. And this is definitely not your typical DIY where they, like, show you one thing and then they show you the completed thing. I'm definitely just showing you my process. So I decided I wanted to add that little charm thing there on the top. Um, and I just glued that on and that kind of, it's interesting because the little thing kind of looks like an eyeball. It's not, but it kind of looks like one. I did add some spider webs to that one as well, just to add some dimension. And then I'm just kind of randomly, not randomly putting those bottles in the little treasure chest there. I did end up printing a couple of little labels and sticking them on a couple of the bottles. Again, not 100% sure if I show that, but at the, at the um, time when I show you the tear tray, you'll see that part. Okay, interesting, because when I was putting the tear tray, tray together, I was like, I don't remember if I showed this part, um, but I wanted to have the um, one of those little bottle boxes that I have, that one that I was just working with, I wanted it to be a little bit raised up on the tear tray. So I thought, let me go ahead and make a couple spell books to um, like have to basically be as risers on the, in the tear tray. Um, so I just bought these little memo comp composition pad book things from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three. I think I only used two of them. And I just went around with the dark um, what is that called? Like the ink from Tim Holtz. I think that's literally the first thing that I have in this whole thing that's not from the Dollar Tree. Actually, that's not true because the charm that I used on that box is also not from the Dollar Tree. Um, but so. All right. So I just went ahead and put that on top of there and glued that on. And I did make two of those. So. Okay. I'm going to glue that all around. And then I think I put the corner pieces on the corners. What, you, what am I doing? What you doing, Crystal? Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so I put little uh, corner pieces on the corner of the book just to, again, add something to it. It was probably not necessary. You can't, you can't even really see these little books um, on the tear tray, but this is what I did. So I'm showing it to you. And those little corner pieces definitely were not from the Dollar Tree. I think I probably got them at Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's see, what else am I gonna do? Oh, here we go. I'm going back to those and I'm gonna put those little labels on it like I said I was. So you'll see here in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the um, portion of the video where I'm putting the tear tray together. And I do actually talk through that piece of it. So the voiceover is soon going to end and you will no longer hear me rambling at least through the voiceover, it will be future me rambling about <laughs> putting the tear tray together. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and we'll, you'll see me in a second. <laughs> okay.
Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and set up my tear tray. I put this tablecloth down, this little lace piece right here, down um, on the table. And I have all the bits that I want to put on the tear tray. And what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build from the bottom up. Um, I got the tear tray at Hobby Lobby. And I got it when it was 50% off. So the tabletop decor typically goes on sale like every other week or every second week. I'm not sure how their sales work, but make sure that you wait to buy this until their tabletop decor is on sale. If it's not when you go in there, just wait till the next week and then try again. Um, but this is a really great value. Um, it's a, like a metal and it has the three tiers and there. The bottom tier is pretty big. So I'm going to kind of zoom in and show you each of the tiers as I build them. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the bottom tier. And I want to put this little sign that we made earlier in the video in the back here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the back. You're not really going to be able to see it, but I want to have dimension and different pieces. Um, and then I do also want to kind of weave in some of this kind of like mummy cloth. Um, so I'm going to do that as well. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut pieces off. Um, the reason that I really want to do this is to, again, kind of add some contrast to the tear tray because everything, pretty much almost everything on here is going to be black. So I feel like this will add some contrast to it. And um, you'll be able to kind of see the pieces a little bit more with this um, kind of whatever that gauzy stuff is. Okay, I have these kind of like chalkboardy, they feel like chalkboard paint pillar candles. Pretty sure I got these at the Dollar Tree. Fairly certain I did. So I'm going to put that back here. I also got these little seasonal candles. Um, this one says Lovers, and it's a soy candle. It, ha it has a little bit of a scent, but not too much. I actually don't want to use the candle because it's going to be up against this metal piece. So I'm just going to put in a tea light candle in there. And um, you can't really see the candle because of the label. So I'm just going to use that instead of the actual candle itself, just for safety purposes. So I'll have that back in that way. And then um, I definitely want to put out the treasure till treasure chest that we made together so I have all the little bits in there um, different little bottles that I made um, just on, in, earlier in the video so let's go ahead and put that kind of like right here okay oh and then I have this little wood piece that I made just now um, with the sticker from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to stick that kind of in front of this candle. It doesn't really stay up very well because it does have that point at the end, but it's okay. And then I have these little pieces that I'm fairly certain I bought at the Dollar Tree last year. They are a, um, apparently I had the been long too long. I need to get new batteries for this. Um, but it is a little like lantern thing. So I'm going to stick it in the back here again. Not going to really see it, but you will do see the light when it's on. So at least that's here. You can kind of see the light. My uh, ring light. You can see my ring light, but it's the light itself. So that's going to go back behind there. And then um, I definitely want to add. A little pop of orange to the tray just to give it a little dimension so I'm gonna put this little candle here I have another tea light that I can add so let me go grab that so I'll just put that little tea light in there and then oh I don't remember if I showed you these little books that I made um, 
I don't think I showed, maybe I did. I can't remember if I showed these in the video, but I basically just took a little tiny memo pad from the Dollar Tree. They come in a set of three and I just put a book picture of a book on it. And I thought that that would be a good little riser for this little um, Trester drawers thing that we've got going on here. Again, can't really see the book, but I, I like it. You can kind of see it good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and move to the next tier. Okay, so for the next tier, my little pop of orange is going to be this little sack that I recently bought at the Dollar Tree. I just filled it with something, cotton or something. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to put this little piece of wood that I got, the little round wood piece. Um, and I just painted it like a charcoal gray. Um, again, just to add some contrasting color. I'm going to put that there to rise as a riser for my little skeleton, my little skeleton that I got. I'm pretty sure I bought this last year. Again, probably at the Dollar Tree, maybe 99 cent only store. It's literally where I buy everything. So um, love that the lights change different colors, but let's just turn that off during the video. So that's gonna go there. And then I have another one of these. So I'm gonna put that back behind there, just again, to add some light to it. I've got my little, other little closed chest here. So I'll put that right there. Um, and then I did wanna do just another pop of orange at the front here. So I have this little snow globe thing. Fairly certain I got this at the Dollar Tree, the 99 cent only or Dollar Tree last year um, or the year before that. But I've had that for a while actually. I think I met about that in 2019. I haven't seen, didn't see anything like this this year, which is a little bit disappointing. And then I have these little witches plaques that we made. Um, one of them is kind of like a grayish color. The other one I didn't actually do the other side to um, because I knew you weren't going to be able to see it because I'm going to hang it from this side and the wall is over there. So I'm like, I'm not going to paint that side. Um, so just going to put this right here and then I'm going to hang this one on this side. And then for the top tier, let's go ahead and work on the top tier now. Okay, so for the top tier, we're gonna put our little cat picture that we made. We're gonna put that up here on the very top. And then I have another one of those candle sticks that I'm gonna set right here with another one of those kind of witchy looking candles. It says um, femininity, feminine. Again, tea light in there instead of the actual light. I could probably light that one, but that's all right. <laughs> and then I actually am going to put our little cauldron, our bubbling cauldron up here at the top to add just another little element of color. So that's going to go at the top there. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you, I'm going to back it up. Oh, I forgot to add the, I forgot to add the creepy cloth to it. So I got to do that. Totally forgot. So I did want to add some of the creepy cloth to this as well. So I'm going to maybe, maybe I'll put it over the, the sign. Uh, not that much. Just a little bit over the sign. And then let's go ahead and add this back. OK, 
Okay, and then I want to also add some of that to the middle tier. Um, okay, so let's let's step back and look at it because I do want to add some of these picks that I got. They're just the wicked, they're the little branches. I want to kind of add them sporadically throughout. So let's go ahead and step back and do that. Like I said, I'm going to take some of these picks. I got some black glitter ones and some, I got some orange glitter ones. So of course there's going to be glitter everywhere, but it's kind of par for the course in my house. And I'm literally just pulling them apart. And kind of folding them in. Okay, now that I thoroughly got glitter everywhere, <laughs> um, I don't think I want to add in the black because I think I have enough black. But I'm thinking about maybe putting in just a couple of the little scatter balls that we used in the um to make the cauldron thing just kind of strategically placing then this one looks like an egg <laughs> we're not going to use that one just kind of like clustering them together in little clusters again to just add some pops of color and then I'd like to bring some of the green down from the cauldron. So adding some green ones. I know you can't see these ones, but I'm just gonna kind of pile some on top of each other. Maybe a green one over here. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of a tear tray reveal. Again, most of the stuff is from the Dollar Tree or the Nine Nights at Only store. Stuff I DIY'd earlier in the video. And I really like how it turned out. And I hope that you guys do too. I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.